The fact that Mother's Market and Kitchen is meeting its customers' needs isn't coincidental. Retailers today are savvy marketers, masters of the distribution channels that link customers to goods and services in the marketplace. In the channel of distribution, retailing involves the selling of goods and services to consumers for personal or household use. Simply put, retailing brings customers and products together. Most retailers, like Mother's Market and Kitchen, target a sub-segment of the overall market, commonly called a market niche, and select the assortment of products and services that niche will buy. We're really a specialty food store. The vast majority of foods that we sell are free of chemicals, free of artif preservatives, artificial colors, artificial flavors, those types of things. And I think pretty much every category within a typical grocery uh, department is covered. We have the largest selection of vitamins of just about any retailer that I'm aware of. Pretty much a complete line of shampoos and conditioners and cream rinses and makeups. We have vegetarian cat and dog foods for people who want to uh, provide that for their animals. Retailers create value for consumers through the benefits or utilities they provide. For example, Mother's Market emphasizes the time, place, possession, and form utilities by offering its customers the wide variety of alternative foods they prefer in a timely fashion within target locations. But most retailers do not produce the goods they sell. They buy them, and from whom they buy is vital to their success. To keep a variety of product in their stores, retailers typically form partnerships with many different intermediaries, which facilitate the flow of goods from producers to customers. Some of these intermediaries perform the wholesaling function, which involves buying products from manufacturers for later resale to retailers. Most are merchant wholesalers, meaning they own their businesses and the products they sell. 